Now why is PayPal declining your card and not just one but other cards as well? This is a problem which every third person is facing at the time of payment. So here are some solutions and fixes that will help you to solve this problem. But before we go ahead, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get all the future credit, debit and PayPal related videos. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. You are watching TechTubers. So I've been using PayPal since 2010 and I have faced the same problem a couple of times. Well, I have some solutions which work for me and I hope it works for you as well. But before we go ahead, let's find out what solutions PayPal is giving about that. So when we google out this problem, this is what PayPal's official site says. So according to them, the first point they've mentioned here is your card is expired or out of date, which I think might not usually be the case because everyone is aware of their card's expiration date, right? So yeah, ignore that. Now the second point is you need to confirm your card. Your card may need to go through a confirmation process. Please note if there is no confirmed credit card link on your card details page within your PayPal wallet, you don't need to complete this step. Although by confirming your card, it really means that if you have added any credit or a debit card to your PayPal account, then after adding that card, it will ask you to verify. If you haven't verified it already, you need to follow those steps and do it. Third point that PayPal says is your card company or bank has more information. If your issues aren't fixed by now, PayPal asks you to contact your bank for more information. So what happens sometimes is to protect your privacy, your debit or credit card company does not tell PayPal why your card was declined. So after contacting the bank, if you can still use your card, then please try the transaction again. Now if you're still having trouble completing your payment transactions, then there are a couple of more things you can check here. Why don't you try changing your payment method altogether? If you only have one payment method linked to your PayPal account, then try adding another method. Try adding a card or add your bank account. Both options work quick and easy and gives you more flexibility. Another thing is that if your card does not have your right current billing address, phone number or your email, your payment will still be declined. Now you can easily update your card's expiration date and your billing address quickly in your PayPal account. All these points given by PayPal might work for some of you, but if it still does not work, I have some solutions which PayPal has not mentioned it here. So I'm gonna tell it to you right now, make sure you watch the video till the end. As we all know, PayPal is a payment service provider for sending and receiving both domestic and international payments. And because of this, there has been a lot of cases that happened in the past, more likely money laundering, money transfer scams, chargebacks, etc, etc. That's why nowadays PayPal takes every transaction very seriously and they always make sure that the payment is genuine, secure and not a part of any fraud or money laundering. So if they find any activity unusual with the payment or transaction, especially for bigger amounts, then PayPal system applies multiple security procedures and most of the times they decline the payment or the card in that case. Also, there have been many cases in the past with PayPal and similar payment companies where lost or stolen cards were used for transactions for sites like gambling, betting, gaming sites or mostly to just take out money from the card. That is why PayPal has built a secure system to solve these kind of problems and they have a tight screening process where every suspicious transaction gets scanned. This is a primary reason for most of the declined cards either when you are linking it with PayPal or just making a payment. Now let's jump into the solution part and see how we can solve the problem if you are making a genuine payment and it still gets declined. 
Once again guys, these solutions are based out of my own experience, so there's no guarantee that it'll work for everyone here, but most of it usually works with me. So let's begin with the first one. If you're using a new card or a card which you've never used online for larger payments like something more than $100. Your card may get declined here because the credit card systems always keep a check on your spending limit on a monthly basis so if you're paying a bigger amount than your spending limit then it's likely that your transaction will get declined. So the solution to that is to call your credit card company and ask them to please allow the transaction. Once you do that, go back to your PayPal account and try again. It'll mostly not be declined this time. Let's jump into the second point, if the first case does not apply to you and you've been using your card for a long time then this issue might be related to security. Now by that it means that if you made a chargeback before on your card then your credit card or your bank takes you as a risky person and they restrict your card for online transactions or on some sites or for bigger amount of transactions. Same applies to PayPal. If you have ever made a chargeback or a refund request from PayPal before, then their system detect it as an unsecured payment and decline your payment in most of the cases. So over here what you can really do is add a different card on your PayPal account, then try to make a payment using this new card. So let's hop into the third solution, if you are not using your PayPal account and trying to pay directly using your credit or debit card to someone who has a PayPal account and if then your card gets declined, over there all you have to do is first make a PayPal account and then add your card onto it, then try to pay through the PayPal account, it will surely work for you guys because it did work for me. And also, when I had a talk with the PayPal team, they did suggest me the same. So guys, if none of this works for you till now, then the final solution is to try and pay them using PayPal invoice. Ask them to send an invoice and then pay through the PayPal generated invoice. So that was pretty much it for now, but before ending this video, here's a pro tip for you all watching this video. Like I said before, I've been using PayPal for more than 10 years now. I also faced these issues in the beginning but once I had a good history with PayPal transactions, now 99.9% .9 of my payments get done without getting declined. PayPal always checks for loyalty and stability. Once you are in their trusted customer list, you will never get a card or a transaction declined. So guys, if you're still facing problems, then go ahead and have a talk with them. Provide them with all the details and information about everything they ask for and I'm sure your problems will be solved. I hope you found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe the channel for upcoming PayPal related problems and solution videos. Thank you for watching, see you next time.